To a decision 2016, lots of winners of yesterday's primaries, Hillary Clinton in Nevada, Donald Trump in South Carolina, and some say Marco Rubio, who beat Ted Cruz for second and burst into the top tier of Republicans, forcing Jeb Bush to quit the race. Steve Handelsman has the latest from Columbia, South Carolina. It's the second victory in a row for the National Republican frontrunner, Donald Trump's first in the South. When you win, it's beautiful. And we're going to start, we are going to start winning for our country. Let's go. Let's have a big win in Nevada. Let's have a big win at the SEC. Let's put this thing away. But as they cast their ballots, mainstream Republicans flocked to Marco Rubio, powering the 44-year-old's comeback from fifth in New Hampshire. Tonight here in South Carolina, the message is pretty clear. This country is now ready for a new generation of conservatives to guide us into the 21st century. Ted Cruz kept his spot in the top tier of three. We are the only campaign that has beaten and can beat Donald Trump. Jeb Bush finished far down in fourth and quit the race with a parting shot. We put forward detailed, innovative, conservative plans to address the mounting challenges that we face. Because despite what you might have heard, ideas matter, policy matters. In Nevada, Hillary Clinton lost her once big lead in the polls, but still won. I am so, so thrilled and so grateful to all of my supporters out there. Some may have doubted us, but we never doubted each other. Union leaders had pushed a big Democratic caucus turnout, which helped nullify Bernie Sanders' late surge. Clinton comes here for the Democrats' primary next Saturday, the presumed frontrunner. The Republicans head to Nevada for their caucus on Tuesday and what's sure to be a fierce fight between Rubio and Cruz and Trump. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Columbia, South Carolina.